So I was just um I was just kind of messing around. I was like, I wanted to build a budget mono white deck and kind of make a video about it and you know go to LGS and kind of get cards for it. So basically the 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 point was like I had this commander in my um you know just in my binder and I was like oh, that would be kind of fun to make a mono white deck. I haven't done that yet. And so I went on the arena and I kind of like went on to it and well I mean it was hard to like kind of just stick within the budget constraints. It was also kind of hard to stick within like like just soldier payoffs in general. So I don't know, like I don't know exactly where I stand with this commander like through brawl, but I mean this list is decent enough. I mean it doesn't really benefit our commander too much. Like I don't create too many soldiers. Um the 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 most things the thing I love the most so far though was like the Thousand Moon Smithy. This card just absolutely pops with a lot of creatures and um you know, turning it over and like creating more of those gnomes is just really good. Like you just make these like really big bodies. Um, I, I like that probably the most so far. Um, there was also some other cards that really stood out, like the Dust Legion Duelists. When you give this like, you know, support through counters, like for instance, with, like with Invasion of Globacon, and oh my God, honestly, probably the best card we have in here is a Selfless Savior. That that was probably my favorite one so far. Um, it's just like make it just like gives like all of our other things like so much more such more of a chance um honestly like it's kind of hard just to play soldiers i mean there's some decent ones like the savior of allenbach this one's good when it trains you can like you know start eating creatures and stuff um even a lot of these planeswalkers they have like um soldier synergy that like, create like soldiers and such um you know which is nice i mean um adeline is a nice is a is a see you see like you don't just you just play these cards like they're not soldiers but they're just so good like with your deck they just because they they just synergize with like the amount of things that you're creating right so i kind of went with like a life gain type of deal like because so there's angels in here there's like a lot of life gain like voice of the blessed and they're just very strong uh i would like probably i'd like to get more into soldiers to be honest like with this deck and like i say like that you know, yeah, Esper Sentinel is not very budgety. You know, it's, it's like a $25 card or maybe more. Um, I mean, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't like see too many, like, I wasn't really too impressed with um, too many of this to the, the soldiers. I mean, we got the recruitment officer in there, of course. Sinew Dancer, one, one planes, three colorless, one planes, tap target creature for four and then planes tap if there's poison so we don't play we're not playing poison this is just like a vanilla one three this one has first strike exile survivor recoilless from your graveyard cry two okay a little value after death these are nice soldiers like thraven inspector warden yoshin frontliner is not really too impactful i think it's played in like standard lists but i mean uh it is a soldier though, you know, it is a soldier, so that's true. That's a cat soldier. That does fit in with life gain too, the pride mate. So that's probably one to go in there. Hmm. So yeah, maybe maybe these are this is why I'm doing this. I'm just trying to go through here again, see if I missed anything that stood out. Flash flying creatures you control get okay. Hold on, hold on, computer. Just let me let me scroll through here. Oh my gosh, guys! Honestly, like having the Macintosh is they really need to like fix this interface. I'm not even clicking, clicking through anything. It's just going back and forth. Um, Whenever non, when another non-token creature ends the battlefield under your control, bolster one. That's that's kind of interesting. You get like a little counter synergy. That's kind of fun. Isn't that what it does? Oh, the least toughness. You put a one one counter on it. Okay, I'll try it. I guess. Bladed ambassador enters the battlefield with an oil counter on it. Remove an oil counter from bladed ambassador. Bladed ambassador gains indestructible. Cathar commando. That is. An interesting one to destroy target artifact or enchantment. That's probably good enough. Okay, please, Arena. Please let me let me click on things. Oh boy. Oh, we 
really went ahead. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. Or maybe not. Maybe I don't get to click on this. Thanks. Um, tap target creature. Each other. Okay, we got the Copper Crow Vanguard. Whenever you gain life, you may pay two if you do draw a card. That's kind of interesting. Create a white creature token. Interesting card. Dawn of Hope. A little bit of a card advantage there. can create tokens later. This guy has a disturbed cost, a drug still infantry, duels to the deep faith, toxic. Okay, very well. Fencing ace is a double striker. That's kind of cool. This card's been amazing. Dust Legion Duelist, you know, put a counter on it, draw a card. Sweet. So good. So, so we have some boons here with a flaming fist dust guard. Don't know, I think that's like an alchemy card. Tap target creature for frost bridge guard. Guardian, we have guardian Nubinalia. Guardian Nubinalia is the one where we can unlist it and um, give it indestructible by discarding a card too. Definitely interesting card. Won't be targeting too much for like the Hero of the Pride. There are some really interesting artifacts I think I forgot I, f I left out. Um, there's one that just creates a bunch of humans. That horn kind of reminds me of it. I feel like I feel like the angels are decent, but maybe like maybe I just kind of get rid of that um, angle. So. I mean, are we concerned about the life gain still? I think so. I think we like, ah, but we like the life gain. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to say, really. Like, what are we doing with these guys here? We'll have to figure it out. It's a tough one, guys. If any of you have made it my rel deck, let me know, because I'm... I'm very interested to see where you went with it. Did you do the double tokens? Did you do the soldiers? The soldier payoffs? Well, that's an equipment. I'm not sure if this is a real card or not with that. I think it is a Boulder's Gate card. I do have access. So either cr create a bunch of soldiers interesting card pretty interesting card actually equip three is kind of high job on duelist double strike toxic one won't be doing too much toxic we have hex proof dungeon when martyr for the cause dies proliferate more than wizard gains first strike by paying into it training when parish plate training does puts counters on target creature control okay interesting Phalanx Vanguard. Artifact synergy there. My rail creates artifacts? She does. But it's after the combat, right? Or during. It's kind of an interesting one, the Phalanx Vanguard. Kind of gets really buff. Oh, that's kind of weird and crazy. When Shire Sheriff enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a token. When you do exile target creature and opponent controls. Okay, when it, when it enters the battlefield. Okay. Sun so Golden Sentinel can touch the graveyard coven, choose a cutler, cutler, and just gets protection from the color to end of turn. We have Thalia in here that impacts the board pretty well. First Strike Mentor on our Sun Home Stalwart. Thousand Moon Crack Shot. You may pay three when you do tap target creature. No. We're not cycling. We have a little buff for our soldiers. It's like a 2 2 guy here. 
Deals damage to a vampire, destroy that creature. When arguing the cavalier enters the battlefield, create one one white soldier creature token, huh? Okay. Some more tokens. Whenever another creature you control dies, transform bereaved survivor. Transform into what? Hmm. A little expensive. We have Boromir for some indestructibility. How come we don't really care? Draw a card, then if you don't control legendary creature. Hmm. Oh, then if we don't control legendary, put it on the bottom. It's kind of sucky. There's Faithbound Judge, kind of that slow burn. Another, another creature you control leaves the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter. What about the Gavany Down Guard? Whenever day, is it either day or night becomes day as Gavin and Dawn Guard? I guess it's just like the four deep is kind of, you can brick, right? It's pretty good though. I'm not seeing too much here that really excites me. Obviously Ranger Captain is good, but I was like initially just trying to keep my my budget down, but I don't know if there is a way to keep your budget down with this um, tribe so far. From what I've seen on Brawl, like you have like the Esper Sentinel, Ranger Captain, like these are just extremely good cards. What does this one do from Theros? A little bit above a buff. A little equip on our soldiers. Man of Flash here, the Cemetery Protector. When it enters the battlefield, exile a card from your graveyard. And whenever you play a land or cast a spell, if it shares a card type with exile a card, create a 1 1 human creature token. So you kind of have to keep that gas really rolling with that card. Hmm. What about fire marrow? What does it do? Well, creatures have to die for that card to draw. There's a soldier though. And there's our girl Myrel. So what Myrel does is that, you know what's really interesting about this card, our commander here, is that she basically prevents opponents from casting spells during our turn or activating like abilities like for instance like you can activate a bank buster during our turn you know so it is a it is a um a blunder inducing card so it is brutal in that manner and then you just create a bunch of these one one colorless soldier artifact creature tokens where x is the number of soldier creature tokens you control when you attack with it so that's another really nice thing about it This card has been amazing, like I said, just having an abundance of creatures on a battlefield, you're just creating like 10 tens at a time, and then you're just creating like a 10 10 over and over again. The the card that we added to support that and my rel was the um, Lava Spur Boots to give it haste. Give those creatures haste and a little protection, a chance to get up a hasty attack with my rel too. I 
I guess the Reverend Hoplite is kind of there too. And this is a soldier payoff. Doesn't exactly create soldiers though. Their Redeemer, whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield and is controlled, put two on one counters on that creature. When stalwarts of Ozgulov enter the battlefield, the ring tempts you. Whenever you draw your second card, you turn and put a one one counter on the stalwarts. Eagles of the North. Interesting. Huh. That just draws like so many cards with my rel. Cards are good, usually. I like cards. Any creature. Even tokens. And then, um... Let's see, there's just the, um, I think it's Horn. Let's see, we got Horn of the Mark. There it is, Horn of Gondor, dang it. Ah, uh, there's Soldiers too. I don't have enough wild cards for that. That's the card though. Well, we need that one desperately. Just the number of humans we control? It's absolutely nuts. All right, well, we'll definitely be working our way up to that one. Um, I think we might be close to our packs. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, I have to. So we added like six. Honestly, like these life gain cards are good on their own. Like they don't need angels. I mean, so I guess we can just kind of get rid of them. Let's see, Giada. That was kind of a nice little, you know, um, benefit. But honestly, they're kind of just, they need more like a, their tribe, I think. I think we're doing better already. I mean, there are some interesting angels here that we can still keep at the top on. Like Angel of Destiny is interesting in this Sanctuary Warden as a soldier. That's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, let's just swing into a game, I guess. Um, let's see if I can get that horn, though. I really was very close. It's in the Lord of the Rings set, right? Let's see. Lord of the freaking rings. There you go. Oh, why'd I buy that? A mythopack. Oops. Well, does that still give me a along the run? It does. <laughs> Saruman. No. Oh, we're so close. Uh, what will I cut for it? What will I cut for the horn? Um... I don't know, man. It's kind of a tough, tough one. I suppose if there's any angels that are kind of sneaking by here. Let's see. Uh, the Seraph. The Seraph is pretty good. But it could probably be the Seraph. No, Seraph is good because it can get, get my rel up in the air and be evasive. I suppose we don't need so much life gain. Maybe one of those what life gain payoffs could go. 
Let's see. So since we did like kind of a longer deck tech, we'll probably just play a game. See how it goes. I plan on definitely like getting this in paper and kind of building it in paper. Because like I said, I have my Rel, I have Esper Sentinel, I have I kind of have like the more expensive cards already, and I just kind of fill it in with the uncommons. So this Voice of the Blessed is like two bucks or something, so it's kind of interesting. We go first and not have don't have too much going on there. This seems worse than the first one. But we go first, so I think you probably just keep the three drops now. Nadu. Hmm. Nadu's kind of brutal. Probably be a little more aggressive versus Nadu. Any day now, opponent. Yeah, I'll probably be mulligan in this, to be honest. Okay, looks like opponent is not there, so it's like a free win, I guess. I'll take the gold. I want to get that horn. Looks like they're gone, so we're just gonna easy victories. Easy victory. I can't believe how good Esper Sentinel is. It's like an amazing soldier, bro. Yeah, like I, I attempted to like kind of build like a budgety deck, you know, and honestly though, it like, it just requires stuff. It requires like Nykthos and, you know, some of those more expensive cards, like to be honest. I, so I, I honestly, I don't think it's gonna be like really breaking the bank, but I think how it's made now, it's probably like sub 300, so. I feel like the EDH will like offer a lot of soldiers that I don't have available on the client and I think I'll be very happy about that. Even like cards like Thalia's Lieutenant, I kind of overlook that. That's a great human payoff. I definitely need to have that one in here too. So there's a couple cards I still need to um, add and I'm still deciding like which ones to cut and which ones not to cut. Kind of an interesting, interesting one here. Let's 
Let's go Inoffensa. Death touch. Let's put some ward on Anafenza. Um, let's put it on our Anafenza. What does he do? Other? Sh You're not a human. You're a spirit. Oh my god. This crazy guy's attacking into me. afraid of this stuff. It'd be nice to flip this over. Yog? Yoggers. Well, Yogg and Lord Scooter is kind of a scary combo. Stop. Um, that's fine. Kind of have like a free attack right here. I like this has war too, that's very good. So I can make a lot of hopefully make a couple soldiers here. Yeah, that Lord Skitter is actually pretty brutal. Maybe that was the take. They might have to give up some things. Okay. Here they're pumping up Yogg. I think we're gonna go into the hot play, right? That wasn't so bad, was it? Feels pretty good. Let me do it, Elspeth. These all have wards, so it's really brutal for them. They really have to take care of this vanguard.
Man, this Copper Coat Vanguard is working really overtime right now. Let them pay it first. Then we'll do the array. Ornithopter. Um, we could probably go for the value for this, right? Schmitty, that's really good too. I don't know if they can deal with a Schmitty. It's just a lot of damage here. Hey, not bad, not bad at all. Um, yeah, I, I really like Elspeth and those plane walkers a lot, but um, maybe like if we go into the creature mode, maybe maybe that's kind of our identity, right? Um, let's see, like Athalia's lieutenant. Let's just check this out. I don't even know if I have that card. Yeah, I don't have that one either. Oh, it's a soldier too? You gotta be kidding me. That's very good. Ooh, wow. That card is busted. Ooh, all these are very good, huh? Yeah, that's good. Dahlia, Heretic, Cathar. What do you do? Okay, like a little tutor effect. Okay. Well, there's some stuff to look forward to, like... For sure. I like the removal. I like to have removal. So, you know, perhaps like these, uh, maybe these like Elspeth. I mean, this does create soldiers. Hmm. It's kind of hard to say. Yeah, I could probably see myself getting into those uh, humans. Make a couple cuts on the top end here. All right, let's just do one more for the road and it'll be another project for us. Hope you're all doing good today. Thanks for checking out the Ruby deck tech. I appreciate you. Come on back for more. Just easy game. Kind of weird, I guess. I like the invasion though, it's so good. Narset, scary commander. Let's lead on the initiative. Oh, that's a very cool card. No doubt about it. Vanquish the Horde is extremely scary. Well, it means like I just can't cast too many creatures. Like, it's still reduced, like, based on the amount of creatures in play. So it's, the array does help. The array does help with the Vanquish the Horde. They're a little bit off of these, a little bit off. So, you know, we may have a turn here to kind of get it situated. I 
I guess they could probably just kill my my rail, right? So maybe that was maybe I I, I did a big big boo boo there. Yeah, maybe though, maybe I did. So I could just do six there. Hmm, it's brutal. Um. Well, we can kill that Guild of Lotus, which is good, and we can kill this in our set now, which is nice. Let's go, um, let's cage first. I like angels. I like some angels, it's pretty good. And we could just take care of their, um, I'm gonna let them. Oh shit, I should have played the Inspector. I thought I had two mana available, my bad guys. Well, if they play the Guild Lotus, I can still take it out. What are they gonna do? My Collector's Cage? Hmm. Sure. Let's take care of that Guild of Lotus first. draw that search is kind of brutal too it's just like you know looking and finding stuff for them oh god This can remove my rail, right? That Chandra's really spooky too. Alright, Narset's back. Oh, Portal. Really sweet card there, the Bonders Enclave. Oh. I think I can do all this. I think I can get the cards too, right? Yeah. Fuck. Why is this getting a buff? Ah, shit. That really sucks. This has 10 loyalty. It's crazy. Wow, annoying. Bummer. The buff, I thought I was going to get the, the cards from my hideaway, but that was an oops. Does this make other sort oh god, midnight clock. Sure. Inspector. 
I will never die. Oh my god, Elspeth. Hello, baby. Well, they can just tutor stuff up with their Iskanta. It's really annoying. Oh my god, World One the Thought is so good. This is kind of cool. What can I get? Can I get anything? Ooh, Teferi's pretty good. This guy's pretty good, too. That's a problem. Hey, don't, don't, people are so rude, man, I'm telling you. Why are they so rude? Yeah, whatever. I guess we're just going for it. Wait a second. Oh, this guy sucks. Two or less? What a joker. Let's go face. Oh shit, now he's doing stuff. Okay, that was not so bad actually. I guess we're still indestructible. It's kind of nice. Do I need to zoo zoo you now? Pony, you still got lots of resources, man. Just, it's fine. You got your Escanta, you got your Midnight Clock, whatever. Guardian of New Benolia. I draw. Ooh, I like Boromir. He's very cool.
They'll need like a Rivers Rebuke, Cyclonic Rift, or a Tutor to find those things. Rip apart. manipulation that's scary the mono blue mage they really I'd consider this like blue this blue stuff <laughs> our set is very cool Too bad it doesn't make your stuff like um, hexproof too. Be very nice. Wait, I wasn't even allowed to sacrifice him in response. Why not? We got through that mass manipulation actually, they kind of just speed that off. But they're going into their clock, so. They're at too high life, I think, to be honest, guys. Moonshaker Calvary is always an interesting hit, though. I mean, it would be a pretty good hit. Rhystic Study? I don't know if that's very good anymore. I mean, they do get a card off of the Whirlwind. The Whirlwind is really good. Rip apart, I'm surprised they haven't used that. Oh, it's three damage. Kind of out of range, I guess. Sure. Oh, I see. kind of interesting how they have just like a full grip, you know? I think it's pretty much all she wrote, huh? It's only lands, all lands. <laughs> no portal of Phyrexia. I 
That's pretty good. Just creatures, though. How interesting. Oh, this commander has only 10 mana to cast. They got their Gilded Lotus back. I am. I'm very dead. It's okay. I, I like to try to battle it out. Kind of see, kind of reflect while I do it, but... Yeah, that'll, that'll be the video today, guys. Um, so yeah, Myrell is our next uh, our next girl. We're gonna be checking her out, seeing what's going on. Um, I could already see like, just there are like three key cards that I just put on my list. Like, um, there's a card that just grants indestructibility. And the selfless spirit is very good for this deck. So we love that. Selfless Spirit, and then like the Thalia cards are good too. Like Thalia's Lieutenant, and Thalia's uh, Heretic Cathar. Yeah, those seem pretty good. What I would probably cut in favor of those is probably like these higher costed Planeswalkers. Elspeth Resplendent, probably Archangel Elspeth too. And maybe like a Steel Seraph. Yeah, maybe that'd be it. Actually, this Guardian of Giripur, that's the one that kind of stuck around that didn't need to be there. I don't need that. So this could just go now. I'd be better off with just like any generic card, to be honest. Let's see if I missed any like Planeswalkers. I wonder what like a Johnny does. Cool, cool. Even like some removal. Alright guys, so that'll be it. Uh, have a great one. See you later.